there's a lot of methodologies. Uh, one, I'll tell you all the, the little protocols that I've used over the years. Number one, I always use dial soap. Because I was, I was very prone to breaking out. And when I would go on a cycle, especially anything shorter acting, I broke out worse. But the longer acting was better, but, not, but I still did break out. Dial soap, antibacterial soap, always used it. I changed my pillowcase every single night. Well, I would flip it over. One, I would sleep on one side. The next night I would flip it over, sleep on the other side, and then I washed it. So to keep you know, all the grease that's coming off your body and the dirt, you don't want to be laying on a dirty pillow. That's going to cause your neck to break out, your bed, lower back, you know, even your chest so, and, or face. That's another important thing. Um, antibiotics can be used but not recommended. You know, what I found was that when I would take aromatase inhibitors that inhibited the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, I would break out worse. And I, what I figured and what I realized at one point was that because you're blocking the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, more testosterone converts to DHT or dihydrotestosterone, which is known to cause hair loss, acne, and of course, prostate irritation. So I, I figured that I had to get rid of the DHT somehow because I don't want to lose all my hair, even though I lost a lot of it anyway. And I started taking um, finasteride, which I've been taking for a long time. But a lot of people, I'm lucky, I have no side effects from finasteride, but a lot of people have sexual dysfunction from finasteride. They have a lot of side effects. Um, but what I did come out with, you know, within the last several, five years or so, is I have a product called Testalize from Species Nutrition. That I have everyone from women to uh, teenage guys using it. It just, one of the effects of it is it blocks DHT production only in a, in a very herbal way in the sense that it doesn't get rid of it, annihilate the DHT completely. It just blunts its production so you're not producing as much of it. And it seems like it's, an, it's a great acne cure. I have older women, younger women, uh, I have men, everyone, kids, kids like over the age of 12, taking it and, it, and they're, it's basically curing their acne problems and in a very natural way without having to take a, dr a heavy drug like an antibiotic or without having to take you know, um, anything you know, that, that you wouldn't want to take. You wouldn't want to put finasteride into a kid's program. That would be super dangerous. It would inhibit their, them going through puberty and it, it's unacceptable. So the, the salt palmetto that extract that we use, which is in a very high concentration, in Testalize is safe. So that's what I would recommend doing. Three pills twice a day of the Testalize, see if that helps. If it doesn't help, go to the dermatologist. Look, I had really bad acne at one point and I had to go on Accutane to take care of it. And it, it cured it. So, or at least it tapered it back to the point where I was able to control it using these other variables I said.